Right, hello and welcome guys, and this is our video. We'll be using the social engineering toolkit to clone a Google web page and use it to steal um, the Google username and password of our victim. So all we have to do is type in set toolkit, click on enter, and then we select one, which is the social engineering attack. Next thing we're going to select is option number two, which is the website attack vector. And then we're going to go for option number three, which is the credential harvester attack method. The two things we can do here, we could, we could, we could clone a site or we could use web templates. So I'm going to go for option one first and see what that's like. So option one, web templates. And it's going to say IP address for the postback. So this is actually the IP address of my Kali Linux machine. So if I want to confirm that, I could do if config. And you can see that's the right thing. So I'll just copy this in here. Click on enter. And it's giving me three options, Java required, Google, or Twitter. So for this demo, we go for option two, which is Google. And type that in here. So it's just asking me to make sure this is my web directory. This is fine. You can leave that as default. Click on enter. And the social engineering toolkit will be listening on port 80. So let's go to our victim machine and try to access. So let's imagine we're sending this malicious link to a victim, probably in an email, telling them to click on that link to sign in with your Google account. So remember my IP address is 192.168.87.130. So on the Vixen machine, 192.168. Dot 130. Should get a web page. Um, okay, let's have a look on here to see if we could actually access the web page on here. So 192 1630. And you can see we've got a malicious web page. So I'm thinking I should be able to access this from here. Let's have a look at what my IP address is here. If conf IP config. So this is actually giving me a different IP address. That's why we can't access it from here. Anyway, you could do this here as well. So let's say we've sent this link to our victim and you can see it's served up a fake Google page. This is not the genuine Google page because as you can see, if you click on this, it's saying the connection is not secure, which most people might not pay attention to when they're signing in. So I'm going to sign in with a fake email. So Alex, Kimby at gmail.com and I'm just going to call this password one. When I sign in, it redirects me to the real Google page. So the user might not know exactly what happened here. Well, if we go back to our set toolkit, we can see the username and password have been, have been actually been stolen. So you can see the victim or the attacker now has access to the email and, and password, which the user initially might not quite find, you know, might not pay attention to saying, oh, what went wrong here? And then try to sign in again into the real Google page. So that explains how to use um, the, the social engineering toolkit in order to clone a web page to search uh, to serve to an attacker or to a to a victim okay thanks for watching